Your Highness. Very good day, sir. Good day, Archbishop. Recently, one of my former lecturers at the University of Guyana, a very esteemed citizen, sent me several clips on the disaster in Trinidad and then followed it up with a prophetic word that was released over Guyana, a word of alarm that a tsunami is coming to Guyana and it's going, the wind and the waves are coming at a speed of 500 miles per hour. An earthquake will come and it will shatter the coastline and have effect all the way up to Linden. And uh, there were some instructions as to what the government should do as a result of this. I responded to him immediately and said, sir, the only native I know authorized to speak over this nation is Pope Emmanuel. And he has only declared good over this nation. So I would be grateful if you could address this matter. Interesting. Thank you, Archbishop. You know, um, and you shared the clip with me. First thing I need to, we need to say is that according to the word of God, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Amen. And the Bible says that our enemy, the devil, goes around as a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. Yes. The devil or the enemy needs power to perform any, any disastrous thing. And the energy he gets, he needs fear, he gets it from fear. Yes, sir. That's why Jesus would always say, fear not, fear not. When the angel showed up to Joseph, he said, fear not. Showed up to Mary, fear not. Correct. Fear not is always look, the salutation we always get from God. Fear not. Mm -hmm. Because God has not given us a spirit of fear. Amen. But of love, power, and of the strong mind. On the issue, uh, no. And I would not even debate whether or not the whoever the minister is saw some impending danger. I don't, I'm not going to debate whether he saw it or not. I wouldn't even go so far in that. But what I know is that the God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the God of David, and Pope Emmanuel, Amen. the God of Jesus Christ, Amen. does not operate like that. Wonderful. The first thing we need to understand, and people need to understand, this whole hullabaloo about God judging places and judging is incorrect according to the word of God. Yes, sir. Let me say this. Not God will not. God cannot. <laughs> God cannot judge any nation. And I'll tell you why he can't. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he Amen. gave his son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believeth in him shall appear but have everlasting life. No. Somebody saying, well, because of the abortions or whatever happened. So are we saying that God, if Abraham said, God, you're not unrighteous to destroy the righteous with the wicked. Amen. So God will destroy all the believers in this country. Is that the God you believe in? Because somebody had an abortion? No. The other thing you don't understand why God cannot judge the nation or judge people. Because the Bible says in Isaiah 53, I don't know if the few don't read the Bible, that he was wounded for our transgression. Amen. He was bruised for our iniquity. Yes. The chastisement that were preached upon him and by his stripes were healed. All we like sheep, we've gone astray. We've turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord had laid upon him the iniquities of us all. Amen. If abortion is iniquity, I would they want to call it that. Well, Jesus Christ took it on Calvary. Amen, amen. Therefore, God cannot know after he did that come and say he still pronounced judgment he yes. can't do it because the bible says he loved the world and he gave his son his son was given as a sacrifice for the sin of the world so even if the world transgressed the law of god the judgment for that was already paid wonderful our responsibility is to tell people that christ died for them and christ, christ paid for the transgression so the transgression of a nation was set on Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You understand? I do, Your Highness. So that's the Bible basis for saying, and I don't know where the scholars are, that they can't look at the Bible and say, hold on, this is not how God operates. God, this is not God would not, God cannot. You know why? Because he's just. Mm -hmm. He said, 
I am the Lord, I punish iniquity, I forgive sin and all of that. And it looks like a paradox in the book Exodus. Exodus. How he does this and how he forgives sin and all of that, because he is fair, he's just. He punished the world in Jesus Christ. Yes. The world was already punished. Yes. In Jesus Christ. So God has to see the world as punished in Jesus Christ. Now a natural disaster can come. Yes. It's not God. <laughs> it's not. First of all, let me establish this. Like people say, it was God's judgment to entry. That it was not. It was not God's. That's not God's judgment. Amen. People don't even know that it was not God who killed the firstborn of Egypt. Mm -hmm. The Bible said, God told Moses, the destroyer will pass through. Yes. But I will not allow him to do that. I will. When I see what I will pass over, yes. I will God, I put. And that word actually means the pastor. We mean I spread my wings over and take the punishment that your firstborn wouldn't die. Yes, wonderful. On Christ, Calvary's cross, Jesus was taking over punishment. Hallelujah. So even if people, regardless of what atrocities they have committed in this country, there are enough people who believe that Christ died for them. Yes. That God has to say, you know what? This is not a pagan nation. Oh. This is a nation of people who believe Christ died for them. So God can't execute judgment. He cannot. Let's say it's a natural disaster that is imp is impending. I, am, I don't even go into whatever it is. It's up to us to decree what should happen. Oh, wonderful. Not to, to, to begin to drive fear in the hearts of people. And this is why I want to address it. It's because the devil likes fear. You know, um, in our country, people say as soon as cricket comes, rain comes. Yes. They don't even know it's the collective consciousness of the people that brings the rain. Yes. It was not God punishing Guyana and said we can't have cricket. They think that way. So as a result, as soon as cricket is scheduled, people's expectation is it's rain. rain. <laughs> that expectation is enough to bring it. Mm -hmm. What Job said? The thing I greatly feared is coming from me. It's coming from me. Mm -hmm. The thing I greatly feared mm -hmm. has come from me. So you see, People don't understand. Fear has energy. That's yes. why Jesus always said, fear not. The angel come, fear not. Fear not. Because God, the energy, the power at work in us for God to perform greater than over and above is faith. Yes. And when we believe his word, then God is released to perform. Wonderful. You understand? His power can be executed when the person will believe him. The Bible says when the Son of Man comes, when he find faith on the word. Faith. What do you find you will believe him? No, I believe God. God can't give his word and say, I give my son was punished for you. And then God come back now and say, you know what? Um, I changed my mind. He wasn't punished for you anymore. I'm going to judge this nation. It cannot happen. Even if, so we, for some uh, logical reason or whatever it is, some natural disaster is impending, that's why we're here. That's why I'm here. Yes, and because I'm remembering, I, you know, as I meditated, I thought even if there was a natural disaster to come, God has given the authority to his sons. Yes, sir. You could confirm that a hurricane headed to hit St. Lucia. Yes, sir. Could become a cool breeze. Yes, sir. That the weatherman in Guyana could declare Ninia or Ninio, whichever, drought. Yes, yes sir. And you could say, the rain is upon us. Yes. And the rain is here. You're a witness to that. And, 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 and when they would provoke you and say, it's just a, a freak something, you said, don't disturb me, lest I bring a flood. And the rain in seas for days. Now, so here is Jesus, and there's a storm. Now, it's not a judgment of the disciples or a judgment of the nation of Israel. No, sir. It's an opportunity for God to demonstrate his power. Or a judgment of Jesus. No! <laughs> oh, nonsense. You see, this is what, and let me say, the people may mean well, but people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Yes, sir. Because they don't know. And they don't know the, 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 the heart of God. If you, you read your Bible, you'll see it. Yeah. You'll see that this is God. You know, I hear a person say that if God don't judge the gate, the gate, the um, the America, yes, apologize for Sodom and Gomorrah. I said, look at these stupid people. Mm -hmm. 
God judged his son. Listen to me. The blood people despise the blood of Jesus. Right? Yes, sir. The blood of Jesus was worth so much that the whole world sin. That's right. It could pay for it. That's right. The sin debt that the whole world had. Yes, sir. Or would have mm -hmm. is paid in Jesus. Yes. The, the blood of Jesus Christ paid it. Once for all. Once and for all. Mm -hmm. So if I'm saying that people have to be have to pay for this, then I'm saying the blood was not enough. That's what I'm saying. The blood of God Himself, mm -hmm. the Son of God, God incarnate was not enough to pay. That's what you're saying, you know? That's what it's saying. That God has to ignore it and say, it's not enough. I have to judge. They didn't read the Bible. Or having read, didn't understand. <laughs> yes. When God judged the earth, God Bible said, repent to the Lord that he had made man upon the earth. But after God judged it, and God started to destroy because I ain't doing this again. That's right. I am not doing this again. God promised that. He said, and in Isaiah 54, God promised. He says, as they promised Noah, that the waters of shall no more go over the border. Yes. And he has kept that. We see the rainbow, we close God's promise. That's right. He said, I promise that I will never be angry with you nor rebuke you. Mm -hmm. He said, the altar and have this will pass me, but that promise will never pass. Praise God. God cannot do that. Amen. It's not God will not. God cannot. Mm -hmm. And if people read the Bible, they'll understand God can't. He already judged the world in Jesus Christ. Amen. Didn't you read your Bible? He was wounded for our transgression. Praise God. Whose transgression? Our transgression. A few parts. The whole no, world. The, the Bible says he loved the world. He gave his the son. The whole world. The whole world. To be wounded for the... You see, under the old covenant, Israel had the offerings, and a man brought a lamb or a thing, a goat or whatever for his sin. Behold, the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. Sin so, of the world. That's what John the Baptist in, yes. introduced yes. him. Sin of the world. And the word take away means he's carrying the burden. Because the, the context is that with the scapegoat. When the scapegoat, the priest, high priest, would lay his hand upon the goat and confess the sin of Israel and lose in the wilderness, I would have carried away the mm -hmm. sin of Israel for that entire year. But next year they had to do it again. Yes, sir. But this was once and for all. He was crucified Hallelujah. outside the gate. Hallelujah. And some people can just read the Bible. If you read the Bible, discover that this is not right. This is not, it's not how God works. Mm -hmm. Now the enemy may be moving somebody. Maybe, and I hope not. Or it's just ignorance. Because the enemy wishes disaster. Yes. And so move people to commit it. Mm -hmm. So he's seeking permission right now. Get them in fear. Yes. Get them to be fearful. Oh, yes. And in expectation. Yes. And that fear alone that will come over the nation, well, is enough. Mm -hmm. But you know what? God placed me here. Amen. God placed me in this country. My God, I was in St. Lucia. And here was the entire country on Hurricane Alert. Mm -hmm. And I was ministering at this meeting. And I was saying, I was teaching them, I said, what you call it, that's his name. And I said, I'll show you a man of God is in town. That's what I did, you know. I said, I'll show you a man of God is in town tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said, where is the hurricane coming from? And they point and I show you in directions it's expected from. I said, I'll change the name of that window. And I stretched my hand. And I said, I address, I'm addressing a wind that is coming to this country. You are now a cool breeze. That's what I did. I remember when we went back to the hotel, my wife looked at me and she's looking at me like, you know, a stranger. And I said, what's, what's the matter? She said, either you're crazy or you know something with God I don't know. <laughs> she said, but what, you just couldn't pray? I said, no. No, that's just the article God gave us. Amen. Different than me and other people, I, ex I exercise the authority. Wonderful. You know what happened? The Sunday after it was supposed to hit St. Lucia. They can, anybody can check the records if they, if they want to doubt it. Supposed to hit St. Lucia. And guess what? A cool breeze with a sprinkling of rain go across the country. Wonderful, wonderful. And there was no hurricane. I was sitting in my office. You, you alluded to it just now. 
and the weatherman said that we are in for a drought. It was so dry that in Dobbin Backlands, the place had caught a fire, caught fire. And I went on television. And I said, the weatherman said it's a drought, but I said the rain is here right now. Well, next day we got rain, and then we got rain the next day, and the next day. And that time we were, NC, we were on NCN. And they, I went the morning, they went back on the news, the, the meteorological office, and said, don't get excited about this um, little phenomenon with the rain. It's just a temporary thing because the drought is, is, is um, unavoidable, or whatever you, you want to use. And I saw the guy who was giving the announcement. I said, listen, tell your boss, don't provoke me, or I'll give Guyana a flood. And you know what? We never got any drought. Praise God. Because somebody was willing to stand up and make a declaration. Amen. But God said, tell me what to do. God told me, he said, make a declaration. Guyana is safe. Let me say, let me say this. Guyana is safe. Amen. And prospering. Amen. Guyana is safe and prosperous. Amen. As a matter of fact, I want you to pick this up as an anthem. Guyana is safe and prosperous. Wonderful. Guyana is the pearl of South America. This country is safe and prosperous. And the enemy will not come in here and do any damage and blame it on God. It's not going to happen. Not when Pope Emmanuel is in this country. Amen. Oh, no. Guyana is safe and prosperous. Amen. That's the word of the Lord. When I speak, I speak for God. Wonderful. I speak. I speak for God. Our bishop, it was not once. It is three times. I can remember. Once I was in bed of And the weatherman, the, not the weatherman, the, the, a guy called in on television. You were experiencing a dry period. And he said, Pastor, you have prayer for everything. You can't pray for it. I said, you know what? I don't have to pray for the rain. I can, co I can command it to, co to fall. And I, right there and then, I said, I command the rain clouds to gather from wherever they are and come and fall in this country. The person who outside said, the heavens got black over the station. <laughs> Next day we got rain, 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 rain. And I remember this. This was so amusing. A guy called me and I was on live television. Uh, calling, we had a calling program. And he said, Pastor. I said, Yes, sir. He said, Man, me know you bring a rain. This is how he put it. He said, Can't stop him. <laughs> so I said, Why should I stop it? He said, Man, I don't dry fish. Walk. Me, let me fish not get for dry. I said, How many days you need to dry your fish? He said, One three days, I'll go dry them. Three days, sir. I said, I Give it three days sunshine. I believe we got three days sunshine. Wonderful. Three days sunshine we got. Then we got rain again. According to the word of the man ah. of God. Amen. You see, people, they don't, they, they read the Bible. If they, people read the Bible, they would know that when I say I'm a miracle worker, people get offended. Because they think, who does man think he is? I don't think I know. <laughs> I was in my office sitting and God said to me, Ghana will have oil. Hold a press conference. I held a press conference. They laughed me to scorn. Yes, and that's, uh, that's somewhere around uh, 2000, around that time. Yes. They, mm -hmm. Look, they laughed me to scorn. I mean, they heckled me, they mocked me. Because I said to them, Guyana will be an oil producing country. God told me that. Uh, you said this press conference was held at Cara Cara Lodge. Cara, Cara Lodge. Lodge, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. I had a luncheon. Yes. At lunch for the people, the, the press people. Press men. Yes. And then I, I made that declaration. Look, they laughed me to scorn. They mocked me. Eventually, when uh, one of the people named that came to Suriname River, CGX. CGX. Yeah, CGX. And when they came, somebody was a little boss, somebody saying, well, like, yeah, no, has oil. And when they discovered it, and then the Suriname chased them out of the river, well, the, the heckling began again. The actual two press people came, I can't remember who they were. Came and asked me, said, well, you know, you said you would get oil, but said, look, the people are driven out. So was the next move. I said, the word of God is sure. We are going to be all producing. You are a witness when I declared, I think old years, night it was, that there will be another find of oil in this yes. country. Were you here? Not a couple of days long after we just, the, the announcement was made, 
we found oil again. Another oil reserve. Another oil reserve. Now, I know who I am in God. Amen. Praise God. I know who I am, and I know who is God, who I am. So, unlike others, I have been no primitive. <laughs> and I hope the president don't succumb to anybody, because if he does that, then the people run in the country. Yes. That somebody could come and tell him that he must do this. You understand? I do. No. If I sit in pending jail, I don't want to tell the president, you know, Mr. President, you need to call a fast Amen. so that we can. No, I don't want to tell the president that. Amen. It's my job. They say you have, a, according to the Met Office, it's going to be a drug. It's my responsibility to say, I call the rain. Amen. And you know what I, I discovered? You don't need 1,000. You read your Bible, one can chase. A thousand. Two can put ten thousand. Ten Why you need a whole nation to come and drive fear in the minds of people? That people are sitting now in fear expectancy. So either somebody don't know better, or somebody wants the day in the sun. I don't know what it is. But well, let me tell you, I have a declaration. I've made it. Guyana is safe and prosperous. And prosperous. Amen. Amen. Guyana is safe and prosperous. Amen. That's the word of the Lord. Praise Guyana God. is safe and prosperous. I know who I am. I know who God's called me. Amen. Guyana is safe and prosperous. And let me say this to you. That's what you declare. Don't listen to that thing and, and get into your head and fear be dripping your heart. Guyana is safe and prosperous. I don't even like to tell people fear not. I like to tell have faith. Guyana is safe and prosperous. You have faith in the word of God. Guyana is safe and prosperous. That's what Guyana is. Guyana is safe and prosperous. Guyana is safe and prosperous. Guyana is safe and prosperous. Amen. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get some t-shirts out. Yes. Wow. And get some things out. Guyana is safe and prosperous. Hallelujah. That's what you do. Yes, sir. You see, the people understand the devices of the enemy. The, devices of, the devil always brings something to drive fear in. Oh. And if you buy into it, mm -hmm. guess what happens? Oh. Then you give him license. Oh, yes. We have to place faith in somebody. <laughs> fear is actually faith in the enemy. That's correct. That's what fear is. That's correct. It's placing faith in the enemy. Me, I place my faith in the word of God. Hallelujah. God promised me, he said, I have a, I have a, uh, a plan concerning you. Yes, a good plan. A good plan. To prosper and give an expected end. I'm placing faith in what God promised. Yes. God told me that he gave his son to die for me. Hallelujah. I'm placing faith in that. Yes, sir. I'm placing faith that he gave his son to die for the whole world. Yes, sir. I am placing faith in that. Mm -hmm. Oh, men can, can can devise destructive plans for people. The, the elements can work and all. But people need to leave God out of it. Mm -hmm. And say this is God doing. <laughs> God cannot judge. Mm -hmm. Not a God would. That he cannot. He can't. Amen. Until the day Christ ar arrives, God can't judge people living to say, Wait, I judge you because of this. He can't do it. God can't do it. Praise God. No. The law, there are some laws, like gravity is a law. If somebody's drop a glass and they break on the ground, it's not God's judgment, it's a law. <laughs> you understand? So many times persons. Universal law. Yes, there are some <laughs> laws. God has set them up in the universe. and reaping is a law. Yes. God has set them up. Is a, is a law. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes, I do. So, so if, you, if you, somebody do this, you'll get this reaction. Yes. You mix, mix certain elements together, you get a certain reaction. Yes. Those are laws by which things operate. Now, if perhaps pollution, or I don't know, whatever, then cause we will change and so that's as a result of natural law yes you, you follow yes i do but for people to say well god is doing this god can't no god will not let me make it clear god can't amen because he said christ was wounded for transfer amen he said that that he was wounded for our transfer. Yes, sir. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Amen. All we like him, not some, <laughs> have gone astray. And he's, we've turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid upon him the iniquities of his heart. You, you, you know, 
if God was to judge. Oh, I don't know why some people well, think. The, the psalmist, if the Lord should mark iniquity, who will stand? Who? Nobody will stand. Who? who? Again, what wise man asks, who could say I'm clean? Nobody. Who, who, who? So if God is judging, there's who, no limit. Who then can say, and Peter, God is judging for this and for that. Mm -hmm. No, my Bible tells me that that's not how God deals with sin. Amen. If you're looking at God in that way, God don't deal with sin in that way. Mm -hmm. God deals with sin, any transgression at all. Yes. Any missing of the mark. Yes. So if then that's what you're saying, then it's not about gays, it's not about abortion, it's about everybody. Everybody. You understand? Yes, sir. And my Bible tells me that the Christ is the end of the law for righteousness. Hallelujah. Righteousness now is by faith. Hallelujah. I'm righteous because I believe Christ died for me. Amen. You're righteous because. Amen. Abraham has God. He said, God, if you find. And only that Abraham stopped. Abraham stopped. But you see, you have to stop. You know why? Because he was not a real intercessor for the world. Yes. Christ was the intercessor. Hallelujah. If he had gone down, one righteous would have saved the nation. One righteous would have saved. One righteous. Mm -hmm. Because it's one righteous that saved the world. The whole world. That's and right. One righteous. That's right. His name is Jesus. One righteous. Amen. What people don't understand is this. And you see why I have a problem with it is when people say God is doing this, God is not doing anything. <laughs> God is not doing anything. My God. If I take off my roof, I am opening my place for sun or rain to come in. You understand? Yes, it's not God wetting up my furniture. Yes. You're, it's it's yes, not sir. God. Yes, it's because you did this that happened. Yes. So, uh, uh, here it is. People, people understand the collective thinking mm -hmm. of people mm -hmm. provides a lot of energy. Right. You know it. We took rice. Yes. And spoke curse one and bless one. Yes. And the one that was coursed became moldy and, mm -hmm. and the other one stayed good. We know, so we know, we know more than that. Yes. We understand the principle. And so if this nation, the enemy is seeking, and I don't think it's the brother's deliberate. I think it's a good brother, has a good heart, he's concerned. But I think like Peter, when Peter said, Lord, you shouldn't be crucified. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, get behind me, Satan. He was being used of the devil. Yes. Because yes. he was saying, telling Jesus, you don't have to be crucified. Uh -huh. No, how are you? <laughs> that was the devil. Yes, sir. Because if he wasn't crucified, I couldn't be saved. Amen. So, Satan, because if you don't understand God, can deceive them into believing. And so when they see the sown, and everybody begin to run help the skeleton and say, oh yes, oh dear. Then God himself can't even do anything well because now they have believed the lie. Yes. You understand? Yes. But when you place your faith in God. Hallelujah. When you place your faith. Yes. There is a thousand on my side and ten thousand on right hand. None shall not come nigh. Guyana is safe. Safe and prosperous. And prosperous. The word, yeah. That's the word of the Lord. Guyana is safe and prosperous. Amen. I hope somebody would shout that word and do all. When you hear it, put it up on your Facebook page. We'll put it up. Yes. Guyana is safe and prosperous. Yes. Guyana is safe and prosperous. Let me tell you this. This is the word of the Lord. I, I speak for God, beloved. I am speaking for God. I'm speaking for the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of David, the God of Moses and Joshua and Caleb, and the God of Jesus who manifested as Jesus Christ and the God of Pope Emmanuel. That's the God I know. Some people got other gods. I don't know who is the God. You understand? Some people's God don't honor covenant. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Even, some people's God, even though he promised that Christ was wounded for our transgression, would go back on his word. Yes. Dear God. Now my God can't go back on his word. Amen. Praise God. He can't go back. Yes. He can't. Yeah, so they, they, they do have a different God from the God of Jesus Christ. Yes, they don't. Because that covenant said the blood was shed once for all time, for all sin of everybody. But some people's God still deal with some sins. Still, so the blood of Jesus Christ don't really mean what it means to us to them. 
No, sir. They have a different name. They are different God. Yes. So, so. Me, I have to represent. I have to stand and say what God says. Amen. And I can. The word conforms it. Amen. Anybody who is worth, any Bible salt, scholar who is worth the salt, can look at this presentation and say, you know what, this is correct. Praise God. Because anything else you have to go, you have to go and pull some Old Testament scripture. Mm -hmm. If my people are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and this and the, listen, that's an Old Testament scripture that was not under this covenant. Because Romans chapter 10, verse 4 says, Christ is the end of the law for righteousness. Amen. See, Moses said to the people in Deuteronomy, if you shall keep it, it shall beat you for righteousness. Mm -hmm. Christ is the end of it. Amen. So the, the righteous, you see, if you think righteousness is what they earn, righteousness is not, you know, my, my righteousness is, is my good living. That's not righteousness. That's, that's filthy rags in God's Yes, side. sir. The righteousness required by God is the righteousness of His Son. Yes. That's God said, I created righteousness. Yes. Heaven poured on the Lord, I myself created it. Yes. It's a gift. It's a gift. It's a gift. He who knew no, no sin was made to be sin. For that we can be made. We were made to be righteous. Amen. Of God. Amen. By faith. Amen. Paul writing to Romans, he says, but I'm breathing my heart's desire and pray for it so they might be saved. For I bear them witness that was zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. Mm -hmm. It's the problem. For being ignorant of God's righteousness, mm -hmm. they go about trying to establish their own, their righteousness, own righteousness and have not submitted themselves to the righteousness which is of faith. Amen. For Christ, the end of the law of righteousness. Yes. So you know some of you trying to do go and establish your own righteousness, but only start out and ashes and can cry before God and say, God, we come to you. Ooh, ooh. Uh, that, that's where the fasting and praying comes in. It's that own self-righteous presentation. So, so what happened to the blood? What happened to that innocent blood? Which they don't understand that. They don't understand that revelation. Even if, let's say, God has to get an amnesia and forget. <laughs> and you say, hey God, hey, remember the blood your son Wonderful. was shed for us. Wonderful. One, God, God, we come and say, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and God will get amnesia. God can't sleep. <laughs> Man, I, you know, I was amused for it. And I said, I wouldn't worry with this thing. But then I realized, the Lord said, answer for this reason. Be destroyed for lack of God. Yes. And fear, the enemy can motivate the nation into fear. Yes. And if the nation motivates into fear, then the enemy has an opportunity to manipulate things and make things happen. Yes. You understand? Yes, sir. So my thing is, even if a natural disaster was threatening, the word Guyana is safe. Hallelujah. That word is enough to keep this country safe. Praise God. Amen. Guyana is safe and prosperous. Amen. Praise God. You can go about your business and give God thanks every day. Guyana is safe and prosperous. Amen. Amen.